We're back with WSJ Lunch Break. I'm Wendy Bounds. In our mansion segment today, you do not have to head west to get a little mountain living. We're going to show you some places just not too far from New York City. Claire Bischoff is right here beside me to help me with that. I happen to live in the mountains areas. I live in the Hudson Valley, so this is a topic near and dear to my heart. There are things, though, before we get to these houses, we're going to show people. There are things you've got to consider before you live in the mountains, and you've been talking right. with some brokers about that. Yeah, so I spoke to a broker in Sullivan County who uh, shows a lot of these areas to prospective home buyers, and he said one of the most important things to look out for is what can you do on your property? Mm -hmm. So can you cut down the trees that are in front of your view because right. they're going to grow and they might obstruct the view. So make sure that you're allowed to do that and check as well what zoning restrictions you right. might have. You might not be able to build or to cut down any more trees and further, further out. So check on those things. And then he also said what a lot of people don't think about is the uh, maintenance for the driveways. Well, especially if you have a long driveway up a mountain. Let me tell you, the snow, the plowing, all that's going to destroy right. your driveway and you have to pay for it every year to put it back. Exactly. People don't think about that. Um, when they're looking at these homes. And then he said that another thing people don't understand is that the connectivity might not be that good True. high up, which is a problem particularly for traders that he showed homes to. They need to be uh, connected all the time with a very strong connection, right. and that's not always possible. If you can live with all of that, then maybe you can go shopping for a home. You found a few. Let's start in Carmel, New York. Okay, this is a really beautiful home that was once owned by the artist Moby. He was the previous owner. Uh, and the current owners kept it pretty much the way Moby had it. It's on 33 acres. It has a caretaker's cottage, a guest home, and then the main house, which has a jacuzzi and an infinity edge pool. So that, lots you can do. That works. All right. <laughs> and then over in New Jersey, Bernardsville? This is a huge property, 179 acres. It was once a 500-acre estate, and it has a main home, five cottages, and the original carriage house and barn, and the home is 16,000 square feet, and that's on the market for $27 million. How many bedrooms in this one? That one's got five bedrooms. Five bedrooms. <laughs> All right, $27 million, 179 acres. So a lot of the property is playing into that cost probably as well right, of that right. home. Okay, moving over to uh, more in New Jersey. This is in Holland Township. So the owners of this house really wanted to bring a rustic uh, in vibe to the home. So they used over a dozen different types of wood in the in the home, and it's 125 acres, great for horse riding. And if you're tired of horse riding, you can use the squash court or the sauna or the 2,000 uh, square foot exercise that area. That works for me. 10.3 10, 10 million? 10.3 million. All right, now of all this, you just can't do the mountain thing. You don't want to have to plow the driveway. You found a preview for us. You can just play it safe in Manhattan, have a superintendent. What have you got? Park Avenue Living. Uh, we have a duplex apartment on Park Avenue, six bedrooms, eight bathrooms. It's on the market for just under $35 million, and it has a 63-foot long entertaining space on the upper level. Wow, we're looking at that right there. 63. So uh, fun, the previous owners, how did they use that space? They actually entertained a lot. They had a lot of fundraisers, uh, not for themselves, but for <laughs> charities. Uh, they had a lot of people over. They have a pool table. They have a beautiful terrace, and, and they just enjoyed entertaining. All right. You've got 63-foot-long entertaining space, six bedrooms, eight bathrooms, all yours for almost $35 million. That's All right. <laughs> Claire Bischoff, thanks so much for being with us. Thank and you. we have a mansion segment for you every day.